I'm here today at the headquarters of Northern New South Wales football in beautiful Newcastle, home to the Jets in the A-League and a really strong PS4 NPL. It's really strong because there's some senior players playing in it and some great young talent coming through as well. Two of which we're featuring in our Ones to Watch series. The first is from Charlestown City FC, his name is Jared Purcell, and then also there's Aidan Bryce of Edgeworth. They're both Ones to Watch. Jared, um, tell us about your football background, mate. Basically, I started off at Toronto, played there for about five or six years, I think it was, from under sixes to under elevens. Moved over to Charlestown in the under 15s and still there for the under 22s in first grade now. Talk about what kind of player you are and your attributes and what you like to do on a pitch. I'd rather, I like to do the easy things right. I don't like to showboat, you know, skill moves, anything like that. If I have an opportunity to pass, I'll pass a ball. If I have an opportunity to shoot, That'll be the way to do it. But what do you want to do with your football? I'd love to make a career out of it. It's very hard to do that. There's a lot of players in the country, but... With your football, where do you think the most improvement is needed for you to take that step to, to what you might want to do one I think day? more being the physical part of it. Just breaking into a first grade side now, you start to see how much more physical it is in the top grades compared to the lower ages. How does an initiative like the PS4 Player Pathway Award and the FFA Cup help if you want to say bridge the gap between the, the PS4 MPL, which you're playing in, and also the A-League, where you want to get to one day maybe. I think programs like these, they encourage younger players to want to play football more and get themselves noticed and their club noticed. Five months time, you're standing there in Sydney and you've been selected as the winner of the PS4 Player Pathway Award. Can you imagine something like that? I can. Um, it's obviously going to be a lot of hard work to get there. You know, play well on weekends, keep on developing and then hopefully can break into that top 24 and do well down in the training camp. Imagine a few years time you put on the PlayStation and FIFA goes in, of course, because you're a footballer. And there you are, you're a professional player, so you've got your own profile on the game. Would that be amazing? Yeah, something to look forward to. I'd love to see myself on a TV screen. So it's great to hear from Jared, and he certainly is a player on the rise. So is this kid. He did play rugby league up until a few years ago, but decided football was his thing, and it's paying off. Aidan Bryce of Edgeworth. Aidan, tell us about your football story. It's um, one with a difference, because you didn't start with football, did you? No, I didn't start with footy at all. I played rugby league till I was age 11. A few boys said, go and play a game of soccer, so I went and had a game of soccer and you know, I would just love it and I won't leave it. Let's go and play football, do you remember the, the moment? Yeah, I was playing, I, well it's year six, lunch break, and we were deciding what to play, footy or rugby league, and um, we got, I went to the sports shed and got the soccer ball out, and all the footy boys were like, what are you doing? I said, oh, I want to try something new, and we all played. Being involved with a club like Edgeworth, a lot of young blokes um, in the first team, as well, including a mentally young bloke in Danny McBreen who, despite his age on his birth certificate, he's essentially a 16 year old up in the head. What's that like being involved with? Yeah, come, coming to Edgeworth, I didn't think I was going to be playing like with a big name before and, and then he came into the squad and then it just hit me, it was just like, oh okay, we're playing with a big name now, played Socceroos, Mariners, he's won grand finals, lead, leading goal scorer, and have him at the front and teaching us all of his ways, it's really good. One of the good things about this PS4 Play Pathway Award is that it helps kind of bridge the gap between the PS4 MPL level, which you're playing at, and also the A-League, and also the FFA Cup helps with that exposure. Now you've had a night where you've, you've had to mark some of the very best players the A-League yeah. have had. Melbourne City, you guys played in the FFA Cup. How was that experience? That, that was crazy. Playing against like Aaron Moy, who scored a double free kick, so unbelievable. But to be out on the park like with Harry Navillo and all that sort of players out there, it was just, I don't know, it was just one in a lifetime opportunity. So what would have to go right and what would it be like if you were named the winner of the PS4 Player Pathway Award? You, you got top spot in that 24. I'd be over the moon. I think it'd, it'd be a lifetime opportunity if I got to do that because I've always wanted it since I played to play A-League. That's like one of my like future steps and from there go further on. You turn on your PlayStation, 
put in FIFA, whatever version it's up to, and there you are. You can put yourself in any club you want in the world because you're a professional player. How would that be? Well, I'd overused myself, I think. I'd change my position from right back to striker straight away. And put me bring back to right back. And what club? <laughs> um, I'd probably go to Liverpool. And what club would you put McBreen at? Back to the Mariners. <laughs> <laughs>